The Apostle Paul in 2 Corinthians chapter 6 talks about working together with God. It's, it's like that story, maybe you've heard it, of the farmer who's leaning up against the rail and he's overlooking his farm. It's pristine, it's fruitful, it's very productive. And this guy comes up and says, man, I remember this farm before you bought it. It was run down, there was no produce, it was just kind of in bad shape. And he says, isn't it amazing what God has done with this farm? And the farmer looked at him and said, yeah, but you saw it when God had it by himself. It wasn't in too good a shape. There is this understanding, I think, that runs through scripture and runs through every Christian's life that God has his part and I have my part. And that's what the Apostle Paul is dealing with here in 2 Corinthians chapter 6. Listen to verse 1. He says, We then, as workers together with him, also plead with you not to receive the grace of God in vain. In other words, here's what's happening. They had been saved. It's a free gift. It's God's grace. But they weren't taking it very seriously. Yeah, well, what do I need to do? God saved me. And some of them were falling back into their old habits, their old lifestyles, their old attitudes, the ways they used to live. And Paul is saying, don't take the grace of God in vain. You have a part to play. There's God's part, grace and mercy and forgiveness, his work on the cross, but then there's your work. In fact, he goes on to say in this chapter six, something like this, I dwell in them and walk among them. I will be their God and they will be my people. Therefore, and this was where Paul gets kind of practical with them. He says, come out from among them, be separate, says the Lord. Don't touch what is unclean and I'll receive you. I will be a father to you and you shall be my sons and daughters, says the Lord Almighty, amen. This is Paul's exhortation to them and his correction for them. Don't take the grace of God in vain. Don't just say, well, I'm saved and then live any way you want to. You have a part to play in becoming all that God wants you to be. There's a warning in chapter six of 2 Corinthians, and that is don't just take God's grace and use it in a way that's, well, non-productive for the kingdom of God. So Paul corrects and he exhorts in 2 Corinthians chapter six.